hot or not? Hey, this here, hot or not, and today a small jar of chili paste for me to taste <laughs> from the brand House of Asia. We can see a nice picture of cut it and grinded chili in a bowl. In the background we can see uh, there are three chilies in a jar. Hot or not? The back is mainly nutritional information and how to store it, made in China, and of course the ingredients. Chili paste, ingredients, red chili, 85%, water, rapeseed oil, sugar, salt, acids, citric acid, acetic acid, and that's all. Let's open this jar. Oh, hard to open. There it is. Well, it looks nice and smells like chili. So there is nothing else to do for me than to... Take a spoon. Wow, this is really watery. Okay, let's do it quick. Uh, hot or not? Salty, sweet, nice and tasty. And I got a lot of seeds. Hmm, nice. My tongue is getting fucked right now. It is hot, but it's standable. I thought that it would be more hotter and probably I will regret it later. Another spoon. I'm crazy, but fuck it. The taste is nice, it's sweet at the beginning and you chew the seeds, there are so many seeds and then then comes the hotness, nice, really nice, but I thought that it would be more hotter, I did two spoons, I feel hotness in my mouth but it's not so bad I can take it I was afraid of this jar I thought that I would not take it 85% of chili nice hotness nice hmm do a third spoon test or not hmm okay like they say you only live once I will regret it on the toilet but fuck it it's really a nice chili paste this is watery this here has a constant of paste but this is a I would say not a pasta but something like a soup I will use it to my dishes, of course. Nice paste. Nice House of Asia. Really nice. Really nice paste, but I expected that it would blow my mouth, my mind, and it's it's a standable chili paste, but really good. I recommend it. Stay safe and healthy, and until the next hot or not, bye. That was hot or not. Devil A. Cayenne pepper sauce. There is a flame and it says it's slightly spicy, but who knows, maybe it is a hot sauce. You never know. Cayenne pepper is hot. There is a picture of fried potatoes. Looks nice. Uh, a, a stick and a symbol, I think, some sort, and on the top we can see some palm trees and a chili pepper, I think, and a tomato. This is how quality tastes like, gluten-free. The back.
It says limited edition, ready, slightly spicy sauce with cayenne pepper. So it's either a cayenne pepper sauce or a sauce with cayenne pepper. I don't know, whatever. Perfect for meat and vegetarian dishes. Try it with fries, burgers, sandwiches. Ingredients, water, rapeseed oil, tomato concentrate, sugar, spirit vinegar, egg yolk, modified cornstarch, seasonings, contains mustard, cayenne pepper, 0.3%, not a lot, salt, herbs, thickener, xanthian gum, dye, carotenes. And it says it's gluten-free, without preservatives, suitable for vegetarians, and uh, omega-3. Let's do a full spoon test. I love to do a full spoon test. It's always hard to remove the cap from the bottle, but I managed. It smells? Actually, it doesn't have a smell. Okay. Let's have a big spoon test. Maybe it's hot, who knows? Cayenne pepper should be hot. Bon appetit! Mayo. Mayo, but you can feel, like they said, slightly spicy. Slightly spicy mayo. But I can feel a little hotness there in my throat. A little hotness, you can say, to be honest. Let's take another spoon. Not bad, I would say a sauce for everything, not only fries or sandwiches or burgers. Second spoon test and I can honestly say, I would not say after the second spoon that it's slightly spicy, a little hotness is there and uh, it's not a bad sauce. Chevrolet makes good sauces and I can honestly recommend so <clears throat> let me take a third spoon maybe I should maybe eat the whole bottle but okay third spoon test And of course, it's kind of sweet, but not too sweet. That's good, because I don't like too sweet sauces. And this is okay. Spicy, a little hot mayo. Not bad. 